Hello and welcome to Welcome Home. Um, yeah, I know absolutely nothing about this game. Nice. At all. Uh, so yeah, why not check things first. Tech speed, birds, unseen text, yeah. No, no, no. Jesus Christ, not unseen text. Ah. Um, how many safe slots? Yeah, typical. Let's begin. Wrong decisions and failures. Okay. Beautiful. So, is this supposed to be ears on me? Could be. But, uh, um, if you uh, are new to this, or if anyone is even watching this, uh, I tend to not read stuff aloud, but rather comment on things as I see them, because uh, I have an accent, and my voice isn't really all that pleasant to the ears, so I don't think me not voice acting is the better choice here. Okay. Come home, Mama. Yeah, dear. <clears throat> okay, so I can click here, I guess. So, are we a woman? Oh, Jesus Christ. I have no idea. Off. Okay. Oh, so we are probably not playing a woman. Yeah, that's what I thought. What? Oh, oh. Right, after she committed suicide. Okay. I thought for a minute, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you should have done that from the very beginning, dude. <clears throat> so, I will never be a parent, but, uh, even though I really want to, but I would never ever neglect my child so much that I don't even remember their face, like Jesus Christ. Let's hope so. So I noticed you should feel tired for us, but uh, unless it's not too prevalent, I will not let it uh, ruin the mood. I can deal with that. Yep. Giga maps, right. Do you have to, uh, use stuff like that for free visual novels like working around copyright because of so that's really really fucking stupid not from the developers of the game but copyright law five years I bet. Um. Oh. So. If you live with someone. I don't know how long you lived with her. But it's just five years ago. I don't know. 
Is it something supernatural or does he just have some kind of mental disorder? Or maybe he's just really forgetful. Hey there. So is this my daughter? Right. Yeah. Like, so the daughter is 100% something freaking evil and demonic, but still, it must really suck, like, if you're some kind of unresponsible dickbag and you feel guilty about it and you have to take care of them now, then meeting them, like, I can only imagine how fucking awkward that would be. Like, hey, sorry for, like, not caring about you at all, but, I don't know, uh, just imagining it. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a typo that actually kind of changes the meaning of the sentence quite a bit. Um, I didn't think it was that kind of story. I was not realizing I was playing the Baron. Okay. So I'm going to do all routes if this has multiple endings. So yeah, saving before every decision. Before or after I finish the game. How would I react? Introducing myself. If my daughter doesn't even know me, then right. God damn it. Yeah. Well. Yeah, no shit, dude. No. Just no. You have no right to be aggressive with her. <laughs> Seriously. It doesn't matter if she's little shit. Like, you abandoned her, her mother just committed suicide. Like, it would be totally understandable if she's uh, completely emotionally right up. And if her mother committed suicide, then it stands to reason that she wasn't uh, really happy with her life. So probably the child didn't have a very happy home life either. Yeah, I was going to introduce myself. Yeah. Oh, well, about that. Uh, yeah, surprise. I have a good news and bad news. Okay. Yeah, since you weren't there. Uh, no, no, why, why, in this situation, why would you not tell her that you're her father? You are explicitly here to pick her up. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. Oh. Hmm. So I know people, and especially Let's Players, would probably be really annoyed with this girl right now, but my first thought would be, like, Jesus Christ, what has my ex-wife done to her that she is this hostile to other people, or what has happened in her life? I mean, Jesus Christ, she looks pretty young, so...
Well, me and my daughter are one now. This is definitely something I didn't see coming. Aww, that's actually nice. Even though it's probably a hug of evil. Right? That's what I was saying. We were leaving? Dude, seriously. <laughs> seriously, dude. I mean... Boy, howdy. Yeah. The main character is actually pretty unlikable. As of right now. Uh, well, you can, but not, it's not that easy. I love you too, sweetie. Yeah. I'm shaking my head, by the way, if you can hear that. I don't know. I can hear it. Yeah. Well, I guess we have something in common then. Uh, it depends on the white lie. Don't worry, you'll probably only horribly die at the end of this game. And I'm actually glad I didn't lie to her now, right? Trust. Yeah, let's. Looks like it. <laughs> Sorry. I don't say. I actually agree there. <laughs> eh -eh. Wow, nothing changed at all. He did. Right. Probably committed suicide too. I miss the bathroom. I thought you said nothing changed. God damn it. It was from the very beginning. You do that, sweetie. <sighs> How awkward would it be if this actually turned out to not be your daughter at all? Like, oh, oh, sorry. You thought this was your daughter? No, this was the Satanist family's daughters from... Uh, from 401, this is 402. Should he hit the time? Yeah, it surely did. Yeah, like I said, six years old. Like you can't you can't really blame her for acting fucked up right now. It's uh it's a little much for a little girl. For a girl that little. For kid that little. Yeah. 
So let's go find Bob's corpse. Oh, this is the count of the choice. Okay, I can drink, I can sit, I can go up the stairs. Yep. Finding Bob. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe he isn't that. Oh. Well. Uh. As if this wasn't awkward enough already. Yeah. Oh god. The girl is back. The girl. Like Jesus Christ, dude. To say my girl or my daughter. The girl. Yeah, that's better. Oh. You really let yourself go. Oh, this is Bob. Well, um. Okay, this is actually getting pretty creepy now. <laughs> Am I? Okay, this is really, really strange. I think so. Um, right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Odd is an understatement here. Hmm, this is rather peculiar. Right. That can't be good. This isn't the bathroom. So, what is going on? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm actually really creeped out right now. This is... Yeah. Um... So, but to be honest, we kind of are a failure as a father. At your house? Uh, I don't know. Right. No. No, dude. Ditch Bob. Not the girl. It's your girl. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Right. I wasn't planning on it. Yeah. 
No kidding. Hey, Bob. You still crazy? My girl? Yes, the little one. All right, so where, where is it? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who or what is actually real right now? Is Bob real? Is my daughter real? Am I real? Nothing is. Really. Yes, we've established that. Why? What the f... Okay, I can't be too loud. It's like really, really early in the morning here. Like 3 o'clock or something. 3 a.m. But seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? Since that funeral? How long was that? Yeah, yeah, right. You. What a piece of shit. But of course, it's going to turn out that he actually had a good reason because the child is the child of Satan or something. But if not, then fuck you. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes, I would be pretty agitated too, and believe me, it would have been louder if it wasn't so early in the morning here. I will open it. I will take her with me. Okay. Yeah. At the very least. she is. Oh my god. Yes. I'm your... Oh god. Okay. I'm actually kind of upset by this. Not by the jump scare, but by this whole situation. I, uh, I like to kind of... Um, empathize with the characters I play, like I put myself in that position and I really get into the stories. That's why I love story-based games. This is just... If I, was in his, uh, words, if I was in his position right now, I'd be pretty... Jesus Christ. That was your wife? Can we trigger that again? Dad. I wish I had my face come on right now. This is, uh, this is fucking unbelievable. Wow. Yes. Yes. No way. I swear to God, Bob. I swear to God. Wow. 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 I am speechless. I am. Uh, yes. This is too much. What the fuck? <clears throat> okay. 
Yes. And I'm going to call the police. Uh, yeah. Figures. I will. Like. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Me too, man. Okay. <sighs> Fucking Bob. I'm about to Bob. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> if she is bad, right? If she is really some kind of. Okay. If she is bad in a normal sense, like she's aggressive and angry, call a therapist. Call fucking child services if you need to. Child protective services. Something. Right. If you think she is like possessed by a demon or an evil demon child, do the same or call the police. Right? They will take her away. And you will never have to deal with her again. And she will maybe like she will get into the system and if it turns out she is an evil demon baby child, then that will uh, that will get detected by stuff happening wherever she goes and things will be uh, dealt with then but uh, right now if she really is bad like bad enough to warrant locking up you're going about it the wrong way and if she isn't then you're a fucking monster so <sighs> yeah Why me? That doesn't matter right now. Yeah. Is this what it's about, Bob? Um. Oh my god, Bob. Oh my god. So it could, of course, also be, also be, that we are the insane one, right? And we are imagining this whole situation, in which case, no, in which case Bob still responded to her being locked up with chains that she is bad. So even if we're the insane one, and this isn't actually our daughter, Bob is still fucked up. So fuck you, Bob. Oh. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I have several theories. Yeah. You get back in time? By God?
Uh, yeah, I was killed. I was killed by a fucking bomb. Yeah, fuck it. I will. I don't even care anymore. Just let's go. Okay. Well, at least I did something good in my life. So, yeah, now, uh, now it's happening, okay, so is she dead too? Oh, well. Yeah, that was pretty fucking cowardly. <laughs> the family is complete. Well, this was ending two. I don't think it's actually that bad an ending. Like, obviously, some kind of afterlife exists there. And if I can, if I personally would believe in an afterlife, right? If I could spend it with the people I care about most, I would welcome it. Like, no problem at all. Like, this is a happy ending for me. Of course, if we now, in another ending, find out that the afterlife is some kind of hellish, evil, torture, pain world, then it's not a good ending. As it stands right now, I'm a-okay with it. Let's uh, really quickly go back here and do this. Okay. Well then. Okay, so it's one of those games. It's one of those games where everything changes depending on what uh, kind of choices you make. So does that mean in my ending, Bob really took my daughter and chained her up in her room until she died? Wow. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Jesus Christ, Bob. Best friend. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now to this reality. She's the personification of my drug abuse. Okay. Right. Sorry again. I guess it makes sense that uh, your that the marriage of you and your drugs becomes your addiction, right? It's actually a metaphor that fits surprisingly well. If the wife are the drugs in this uh, situation, the wife is the drugs. I don't know. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Respect. Did 
you. Jesus Christ. It's been five years, okay? If someone told me, don't worry about it. It's been five years since your wife, who got severe depression because you left her alone with the daughter, killed herself and your daughter. Don't worry about it. Fucking Bob. Seriously, Bob. Fucking Bob. Bob. Yeah, it's probably for the best. No. Very nice dream. So I got a true ending. Well then. I like the other one better. <laughs> but uh, maybe this isn't a game where everything changes depending on your choices. If this is the true ending. This means the whole thing with Bob, which is also a metaphor of sorts. Uh, in which case that ending was me killing myself because I couldn't deal with the tragedy. In which case, my daughter was still just a drug hallucination, in which case there probably isn't an afterlife. So, yeah. Let's just check real quick this one out. If I do this directly. Okay, I can skip. It is the same. Yes. Okay. Let's try. Okay, so this also didn't really do anything. How about this? No, no, no. Reload. Yeah. To the bathroom first. So this changes nothing, I guess. Nope. Okay. Then let's go this one. I will sit. Okay, I will drink. So there aren't really any choices. Okay. Yeah, let's nice. go to hell. So does this change anything? I lied to her once. Oh yeah. Um, that's gonna move you there. It's Bob. Doesn't seem like anything changes. But you never know. Okay. Let's try lying to her twice. Is that even possible? I seem to remember. No, it isn't. Okay, lots of false choices here. I guess there are only really...
There are only really two endings. Yep. So this game is a lot less complex than I thought it was. LLM44. Um, just. I don't anything will change. Up, up, up. Uh, and then. Oof. Right. Okay, so. Yeah, this was actually kind of a surprising ending. I. Only because it wasn't nearly as detailed as I thought it'd be. I know it's a free visual novel, but. Uh, I recently played uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, and um, Redacted Life, right? And those had much more content. They were also free. Um, all in all, with the typos and everything, it's all right. It's free, so if you want a little atmospheric horror thingy for that, it's pretty all right. Uh, This is way shorter than I thought it'd be. I short, thought it, the uh, words talking. I thought this would be multiple parts, but uh, no. All in all, if I, um, if you would ask me what is the thing I take away from the story the most, then that would be that. Bob is an asshole, no matter what. He's either an insensitive jerk or a creepy, weird child abuser. Even though the last part is just my drug fantasy. So, yeah, I guess uh, winners don't take drugs. Ah, yeah, and the main character sucks. Uh, and that's it already. Thank you if anyone is watching this. Thank you for watching it. Um, maybe leave a comment criticizing me so I can improve in the future. I don't need likes or subscriptions, just feedback would be nice. Um, yeah, and that's it. Goodbye.